Hi guys, welcome back to Cloud Mom. Answering a question today from a YouTube viewer, uh, Noor77838. She asks, what age would it be good to start reading to my baby? And I thought this was a great question. And um, I actually found a really helpful article on parents.com that I'm going to link to from my sites by Melissa Balmain. She provides sort of a guide as to when you can start reading to your baby and what books are helpful and what you should do while you're reading to your baby. Um, and here's just to start. I mean, many people actually start reading when their baby is in the womb. I know my, my sister read Charlotte's Web to her first baby, not the second or third, when that baby was in the womb. But I think the general feeling is lately that you can really start from day one. Try to have books, you know, around your home Make books part of your everyday rituals. Try to read perhaps during meals. Try to make books really something that your baby feels very comfortable um, with and part of what your baby associates with intimate time with you. And here's a little guide that I found helpful um, based on what Melissa's suggesting in her article as to which books might make sense when and what you can do with these books so that your baby is actively involved in learning. So. Um, zero to six months, what's generally suggested is books with little or no text and big high contrast pictures. You might see ones that are black and white. I know babies start to love books here with actual babies in them. All of my kids really love those. Interactive materials, peepholes, things they can open and close. Those soft board books are wonderful. Fuzzy books with animals where it's very sensory. Those are really great for young babies that are like zero to six months old. Seven to 12 months, babies might just start recognizing sounds and associating those with objects that they see in the book. So it's generally recommended that you only have one object per page to sort of reinforce that. That's what a lot of people think. But you can be making your way now to things that are just a little bit um, more text-based with some words. 13 to 18 months, so that's a year to a year and a half, books with a sentence or two per page. So still very, very simple and obviously with huge and wonderful illustrations. Um, this parents.com article recommends you can start acting out some of the sentences and being silly. I think that's kind of fun. And then at 15 to 18 months, you might start asking your kid a question about the book. What's this? What's that? And getting them to respond and getting them to interact. So I found that helpful. Um, 90 to 24 months, and I remember this actually myself from when I was little, I used to ask that my mom read me the same book every day before my nap, which was Hansel and Gretel. I just loved it. That is actually a really, really good thing. Your child might be associating that book with feelings of feeling reassured, and that might really be helping your child to develop a vocabulary. So I wouldn't worry if your child asks for the same book all the time. And you might even say, okay, we'll read your book first, and then we'll read my book. What I've been doing with my little girls lately, and they're obviously older, they're three and five, but one night I'm like, okay, you guys pick two books you wanna read, which is almost always the Bernstein Bears, which I love those books. And then the next time I'm like, okay, now it's mommy's turn to pick two books, and that way I feel like I'm giving them a little bit of diversity in what we're able to read, but they also feel like they can have some ownership over it by picking the books that they like. So anyway, back to 19 to 24 months, um, many toddlers find it reassuring to read the same books and hearing them to be read in the same way, and experts think this is really helpful and can help them to remember words. So anyway, that's just a little guide in terms of what types of books and how you might read to a baby up until two years old. People that have had success reading to young babies, please weigh in. It can be really hard. Sometimes you're sitting there reading and they're just sort of running around and you don't think they're paying attention. But what I've heard and what my doctor recommended is words, words, words. Like you can be sitting there reading and they're running around, but still those words are slowly going into their little heads and helping them um, develop a sense of language. So it's all good. So anyway, please weigh in with what you've done with your babies. And thank you so much for watching. Clap, Mom. Thank you.